know, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm gonna do to this kid, you know? I'm scared. I'm just, I'm just a little kid. I mean, he's a little pussy. Damn, I mean, he's a little baby, you know? I'm just scared I'm gonna, like, tear his baby legs off and hit him with him, you know? Hey, boxing fans, welcome back to Quick Rundowns, your ultimate source for all things boxing. Today, BLA, we have something incredibly entertaining for you. We're diving into a hilarious and slightly terrifying animated video featuring none other than Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Mike Tyson goes on a wild rant, and Jake Paul is right there with him. Let's break it down and have some fun. All right, let's set the stage here. Picture this Mike Tyson, the legendary boxing icon, is sitting next to Jake Paul, the YouTube sensation turned boxer. And Tyson? Well, he's not holding back his thoughts. Check this out. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm gonna do to this kid, you know? I'm scared. I'm just a little kid. I mean, he's a little pussy. Damn, he's a little baby, you know? I'm scared I'm gonna like, tear his baby legs off and hit him with him, you know? I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going to do to this kid. You know I'm scared. I'm just look at him. He's a little bleep. It's a little baby. You know, as I'm going to like tear his baby legs off and hit him with them, you know you don't you don't know what I'm capable of. Don't bleep deserve it. Going to let loose. Going to bleep roll in this G the World War face is Kading. Wow. Just wow, Mike Tyson talking about being scared and then saying he's going to tear someone's baby legs off and hit him with it. This is next level crazy and Jake Paul's reaction is priceless. Let's break this down. So first things first, let's address the elephant in the room. Mike Tyson scared, I mean, we're talking about Iron Mike here. The man who used to knock people out in less time than it takes to microwave popcorn. If Mike Tyson says he's scared, you know something's up. But then he takes it to a whole new level with the baby legs comment. What even is that? It's both hilarious and terrifying at the same time. And poor Jake Paul, he's just sitting there probably thinking, what did I get myself into? You can see the fear in his eyes. He's probably regretting every life choice that led him to this moment. No, you don't know, you don't know what I'm capable of. Can you imagine sitting next to Mike Tyson as he talks about tearing off baby legs? Jake Paul is brave, I'll give him that. Now, let's talk about the sheer entertainment value of this animation. The creators really captured the essence of Mike Tyson's unpredictability, and adding Jake Paul into the mix just makes it even more surreal. It's like watching a train wreck, but you can't look away. Let's appreciate the animation for a second. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the exaggerated expressions, the over-the-top movements, and the spot-on voice acting, it's pure gold. This is the kind of content we didn't know we needed. And it raises so many questions. What was going through Mike Tyson's mind? Was he serious or just messing around? And Jake Paul, how did he even end up in this situation? All right, let's get a bit analytical here. Mike Tyson mentioning he's scared could actually be a reflection of his introspective side. Throughout his career, he's talked about fear being a driving force. But in this animated setting, it's turned into comedic gold. The absurdity of the situation tearing off baby legs is a hyperbole that makes us laugh, but it also hints at Tyson's notorious unpredictability. And that's what makes it so captivating. I'm going to let loose, going to bleep roll in this G the World War face is kiting. That line right there going to let loose, going to roll in this Jeep. What does that even mean? It's like Mike Tyson created his own language and the world war face is Kading. Is that a new form of trash talk? This is the kind of thing you just have to hear to believe. I mean, can we just take a moment to appreciate the pure madness of this? Mike Tyson is in a league of his own when it comes to unpredictability and Jake Paul, he's just trying to survive the encounter. This whole scenario is like a fever dream. You don't know what I'm capable of. Don't bleep deserve it. Jake Paul is doing his best to play along, but you can tell he's out of his depth. This is a guy who thrives on controversy, but even he looks like he's met his match in Mike Tyson. It's like watching a lion play with a mouse. You just hope the mouse makes it out alive. So what can we take away from this? First, it's a reminder of why Mike Tyson is such an iconic figure. Even in an animated, exaggerated setting, he commands attention. Second, it's a testament to Jake Paul's willingness to dive into the deep end. Love him or hate him, you can't deny he's got guts. And let's give a shout out to the creators of this animation. They've managed to capture the essence of both Tyson and Paul while delivering a piece of content that's both hilarious and thought provoking. This is the kind of creativity that makes the internet such a fun place. Mike will be put to sleep and he will feel my power. Why the f y'all all got these Mike Tyson shirts on? I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. Mike Tyson is an absolute killer. So I, I was scared of going up against Mike Tyson. I was unsure. Uh, Jake Paul or Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson. That's good, man. Um, wish you the best. Uh, thanks. Scared, scared. But this can be almost a stepping stone in the right direction and give me more time and preparation. Scared. For the first time ever, the largest streaming platform in the world. Netflix. This is going to be the event of the summer. The viewership that we'll get, it'll be the most viewed boxing match live in history. 
Tyson still has power. Still, you can see, he's still got quickness. Uh, he's got those quick twitch muscles where, you know, he's still got muscle memory from when he was, he, he was one of the great heavyweights. <laughs> Never for money, only glory. But if that Mike Tyson from Marvis Frazier fought Jake Paul, Jake Paul's dead. He's dead. He's not going to make it. So you have to say, Hey, I hope y'all keep that same energy when I knock this old man the f*** out. You know, 60, you know what 60 was. <laughs> Let's do it, Jakey. <laughs> 30 years ago. Yeah. 60 is very young. <laughs> I have a weird personality. I'm like a butterfly, sting like a bee, chop you down like a tree, make you fall like a leaf. What? <laughs> 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 Mike Tyson's not gonna lose his reputation against some dude okay. off the internet. Now, if you go out there and beat him, people are gonna hate your. It's a career suicide. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal, and vicious, and most brutal champion that's ever been. No one can stop me. Jake Paul. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Jake Paul. I like that shit. Yeah. Fuck Jake Paul. I like that shit. Yeah. But if that. Mike Tyson from Marvis Frazier fought Jake Paul. Jake Paul's dead. He's dead. He's not going to make it. So you have to say... People that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul because like, he's too old, I, like, I think you're I think you're crazy. Well, they're definitely uninformed. Tyson still has power. Still, you can see, he's still got quickness. Uh, he's got those quick twitch muscles where, you know, he's still got muscle memory from when he was... He, he was one of the great heavyweights. It was good why it lasted for Jake, okay? It was good why it lasted. I'm not gonna last much longer. You're fat, Jake. I saw him with his shirt off over there. He's fat. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Because every time you say Mike Tyson, you whoop your own ass. It just creates a psychological problem. If I was Jake Paul right now, I would be shitting my pants. Oh, bro. Mike Tyson from Marvis Frazier fought Jake Paul. Jake Paul's dead. There's a dark chamber in his mind that he can open up. <laughs> The question is, can his body move along with it? Let's do it, Jakey! God, wouldn't that be cool? A good stuff? large Damn. percentage would want to see you knock his block off. I would not get into the ring with him unless he had no pulse, rigor mortis had set in. I would not mess with Mike Tyson. I don't care that he's 57. Do not mess with Mike Tyson. Culturally, you versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber, takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. Yeah. Oh, he's a lovely guy. Man, His brother's great part. too. Logan's Can a really nice that, guy. Please? That fight would be gigantic. Yeah. Every time you say the name, you you just become a kid again. Did you start training already? He's not gonna win. Nigga, he couldn't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How's he gonna knock me out? He didn't knock out Tommy Fury. What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock those little guys. How's he gonna knock me out? He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. I don't think it's weird though. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I, I, I confront it. And that's my personality. Reflexes, they go away. Speed, it, it disintegrates a little bit. It, it, it deteriorates a little bit, but Power? No, it stays. This guy's gonna come, he's gonna try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's gonna be greatly mistaken. I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight, and I think I'm gonna be really, really irritable and nasty. Mike now weighs 230 pounds, and he's got these muscles in his forearms. So, so he's sitting there, and he's a different human. He's so intense that I was like, if this table was closer to him, I would be nervous. Like, I wouldn't be able to do my best job as a podcaster. I literally, this the reason why this table is this way.